Welcome back to Frog Compost Band with our Yeek Yellow Mage. Last time we finished off a couple of dungeons, Graveyard and Dragon's Lair, and we got Soul Sword from finishing off Graveyard, which is a nice stat stick for a mage, but we can't really work it into our current equip. So what I want to do is get a start on Arena, I think. We haven't been there yet this playthrough, and dive to the bottom of that or near the bottom and see if we can get some better loot from picking off monsters in arena. Uh, I probably need food actually, yeah. I have nothing at all. Um, am I already in the town? Is that why I can't teleport there? I keep on forgetting to save my macro as well. Actually, maybe um, going to Zul would be a good idea. I might be able to get some jewelry there that would sort out our current equipment issues. But I don't really have the gold for that, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I'll go to Arena first. I need more mushrooms. Oops, not that many. Ah, oh, I didn't even need the food after all that. So Arena is a nice dungeon because the gimmick is that it's full of these little arena rooms where there's just one monster inside. So it's quite easy to pick your battles in this dungeon. I'm going to be just diving down to not the bottom level but pretty close to the bottom, and then just looking for easy pickings pretty much. And diving down is very easy when you're a, a mage with the sorcery realm. Uh, we can kill this guy for sure, so let's go do that. I think he actually got summoned in our fight with um, Tiamat, but we teleported him away. Um, let's see, we already have free action on our current cloak and plus 6% to life multiply and resist fear. So I think our current cloak is probably better than this. We'll pick it up anyway. This guy's vulnerable to cold, so he should go down pretty quickly. I think we can kill her as well. She doesn't resist, okay.
Um, let's go with Charisma. Our con cap was 110, 18, 110. So it'll take us a fair while to cap that out since we're so close. Here's another Amberite. We can take on him, I think. I want to be at full health before I kill him because of the blood curse, just in case something really bad happens. I should also probably be closer to full mana. Okay, his blood curse was literally nothing as far as I can tell. That's a pretty good stat stick. No free action though. So I don't think I'll wear that. Uh, I can't even carry it. Drop the mushrooms I guess. Um, I'm never going to wear this so I won't bother picking that up. Let's go back and drop off some stuff. Well, let's grab the stairs first, I guess. While we're here, we may as well quickly check out Zul, just in case we can afford something nice there. You can't teleport to Zul until you do one of the quests here, which I probably won't do because it can be pretty dangerous. So nothing there I'm immediately interested in. We can re reshuffle that shop though. I just want to check out other shops in case they have something I want. Scrolls of Requirement. Too expensive though. We'll see if we can reshuffle this shop a couple of times and get something something nice out of it. Actually, what are our current rings? Speed plus six, wizardry plus ten percent, and two in. And that amulet as well, just base.
Can't afford to lose a base resistance, I think. Actually, if I wear, if I wear this amulet, that has easy spell and decrease mana on it, which means I could get rid of the wizard stuff and replace that with something else. Hmm. That might be worth it. I think I will buy that then. Uh, what else can we drop? We can drop Sorcery Book 1. Mm, can we get anything else? Could get that defender ring with base resistance on it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea actually. Because that can replace. And I won't need to have base resistance on whenever I swap out the wizard stuff for. So I think I'll buy that. Um, what else can I drop? I can drop curing. And we have enough gold probably for another shuffle or two. All right, I think let's go back to town, make sure I don't leave anything important behind. Let's wear this amulet, wear this ring over the wizardry, drop that ring, that amulet, that and that, drop the wizard stuff, now, so we have a free hand slot, we're not, oh, we're not resisting confusion, damn, let's see, what do we got? We could wear Soul Sword. We might just have to do without confusion resistance. How does this look? Up to 550 health, which is pretty good. Well, it's not really good, but it's good for a Yeek Mage. And the resistances are looking pretty decent, except we're missing confusion and we only have one shards. So can we do better than that? Uh, what are we getting from Thorin? Never sound chaos. We can afford to lose. Never. We can afford to lose sound. We can afford to lose chaos. So we can swap out Thorin entirely. Do we have another shield we could use? Or another weapon? Hmm, I think, I think we'll leave it as is for now and see how we go. Yeah, let's just see how that works out. Oh, 
I am a bit scared of fighting things without confusion resistance now though. Yeah, we'll give it a crack. Oh, I forgot to pick up Sorcery Book 1. That's alright, we can just Dimension Door instead. Okay. I forgot about his blood curse as well. 192. Uh, we'll just drop the first one. And let's go back to town and get rid of this curse for one and pick up another sorcery book one before I forget no remove curse scrolls or sorcery books in either of those towns if we can kill him. He has uh, nothing that I'm too afraid of by the looks of it. I guess the main thing is um, if he manages to summon anything dangerous. Ah. Well, we can fight a bioworm as well. Bioworms are actually really great for us because we're immune to acid. So they can do pretty much nothing. Oh, they, they can confuse us, I guess. Do I not have curing? Oh, that's stupid. We have to burn a healing to get rid of that confusion. Let's go back and get some potions of curing. more than that though. And is there anything here? Nope. Back to arena. I think these guys resist, yeah, they resist plasma.
That guy doesn't look too dangerous either. He breathes a lot of chaos. Oh, actually, Mana Storm for 341. That's quite dangerous. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Looks like he doesn't want to come towards us. That's interesting. Immunity to cold on boots. Not interesting enough to wear though. Yeah, we're getting speed and chaos resistance. I think I'd rather have the speed. Great ice worm we can kill. Um, nothing on there I want, particularly. Great one of law. Probably too dangerous to actually fight. Let's just leave him be. at the bottom of arena now. Arena is 80 floors deep. So I think we'll stop at 79 or 78. And let's fight this guy along the way. Um, let's, we need to drop something. I'm gonna drop the stuff, cure wounds, I think. Let's go back to town. And, more 
mushrooms. Keep forgetting to restock on my trusty mushrooms. So we're at 79 now and I think I won't go any deeper than this because the Dungeon Guardian for Arena is very dangerous. So we can bum around here for a while and just grind a bit. These guys can actually be confused, which is unusual for how late they appear in the game. So if you confuse them, then they go down pretty easily. Leprechaun Prophet, we can take him down, hopefully. Let's get rid of the Grandmaster Mystic first though. I'm having trouble stunning this guy for some reason. Which is a bit weird. Since he didn't resist stunning. Unless maybe having sound resistance helps with that, I'm not sure. Go 
for them anyway. Interesting. Ring of power. Plus two to all stats and speed. Immunity to cold and it has free action on it. I don't know if that's actually worth wearing for us. Probably not. These are great on um, melee characters though because that plus two also adds plus two damage dice to your weapon. Um, but for us I don't think it's actually that useful. Pick it up anyway. Another unique. This guy has lots of light damage, which is another sort of unusual element. We're double resisting it though, so we should be okay. I don't want him to hit our simulate because he has um, steel item. And if he stole our sorcery book, we wouldn't be able to recall the town, which would be sad. We'd have to like, either find a scroll of recall or something in here, or we'd have to climb all the way out of arena and make our way to town normally. from hunger, uh, we can eat mushrooms. This guy has um, storm winds, which is electricity, but it also pushes you around. As well as whirlpool, which can stun us. Is he faster than us? No, he hits to confuse and we don't have confusion resistance anymore so we could just get like stun locked pretty much. We can always teleport out with the staff but I would prefer not to do that. Let's see if we can bait him over this way. These guys are dangerous. All three of them cast at the same time. I think that would kill me. Okay, it looks like he is coming out now. You gonna follow all the way? Looks like it. Looks like this guy might 
be a bit tricky to take down. I'm wondering if it's actually worth fighting him. We do have him pretty low though, so may as well continue. Uh, now that he's there, he has long reach, which is how he confused me before, so I want to phase away at this point. Almost got him. And yeah, just like the other guy, he's not getting stunned. So I think it must have something to do with the monster having sound resistance. I mean, since he's not getting stunned, I might as well be using Mana Ball. This is not worth picking up for us. Neither is this, but that's cool. Immunity to electricity, but again, not really worth picking up. I'll do a quick trip of the towns to see if anything else has popped up in Black Market, which looks like it has. Oh, it's just here. I think I might try, um, well, yeah, I'll give it a try. I might try doing a bit more of arena. Um, need to drop off something, but let's drop off the potions because we can't use those in arena. So we we're up to the Iron Lich. He does have Brain Smash, which can confuse me, but I'm faster than him, so I should be able to eat a mushroom to get out of it. it looks like the stunning is doing its job. Question on New Life, don't actually care about that. I think I've decided. Probably should pick it up though, just in case. Great of Titan, not afraid of. They can be confused. I can just uh, use that now, I guess, for the bonus to wisdom. Oops. 
Spectral Tyrannosaurus. Um, they do Nexus damage, I think. Which we are resisting, okay. So we can do that. Poison, Nether, and Nexus. Mummy King should just be able to stun him. And hopefully he can't cast any spells. Nightwalker, I think we've already fought a few times. Stuff of speed. Don't care about stuff of speed unless it has a lot of mana, which it doesn't. Great and clean one. These do acid and poison, I think. A lot of acid and poison. Uh, I'll pick up more mushrooms just in case. And we're immune to acid, so it should be fine on that side. Yep, acid, poison, toxic waste, and also some curses. So as a Yeek, we should be pretty safe. That whole time we didn't even breathe once. Off that potion. Shambler. Ah, uh, that would have been. Um, maybe I should have picked up that mace of immunity to electricity because these guys only do electricity damage. So having immunity makes them just really easy. Uh, I might die to this guy because they do do quite a lot of electricity damage. Might as well give it a shot though. There's no real penalty to dying in arena. Yeah, that's a fair bit of electricity. Don't resist anything though. Hopefully if he's dazed he won't bother. I'm probably less afraid of his melee than I am of him breathing, so I'll just stand next to him. Until I need to get my mana back, I guess. And that has a scroll of big requirement, um, which I can read right now, because we still didn't end up resetting our Angband level. Let me grab a couple of things to make that safer. Grab these Scrolls of Destruction. Let's drop off these mushrooms. Not those ones actually. And um, Potion of Healing. Should be counting a few of those. And we can just recall down to Angband. Call out immediately. Read the scroll. And Marcel. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that ego before of power. Face, confusion, chaos, disenchantment, fear. Base, poison, sound. So we'd be missing out on poison and sound. Don't care about poison too much, I've got mushrooms. Don't care about sound because I'm already double resisting that anyway. Maybe that's worth wearing then. 20 pounds as well versus, okay, it's the same weight. And is there anything here we can quickly go grab? 
We can try and kill the ice worm. He might drop something nice. Ah, oh, did I not bring Kiri? where that our health goes down because we're getting one con from the other armor six wait does it wait no it went up oh wait yeah we're getting more con from this one so that's better we are missing oh we're not missing we're not missing poison yeah it's just straight up better then We're resisting a lot of chaos, so we could afford to lose a couple of those. And swap them out for something else. Our boots are giving us chaos resistance. They're also giving us three speed though. Okay, so that was worthwhile. Um, where are we up to now in Arena? Black Reaver. Pretty scary because they have that 300 and something damage mana storm, which is just irresistible. We can try fighting him, I guess. Let's drop off these. Pick up Cure Blindness and Cure Confusion. About 400 damage on Mana Storm. Ideally, we stun him and he can't do anything. What does he do? What does he do as a touch attack? Probably less scary than Mana Storm. Okay, got him. Uh, I do want that. those guys do, can't remember. I think they breathe light. Fire light sound and they resist plasma. Yeah, that's probably a good stopping point for now in arena. Town arena I mean. We can go back and do another round of dungeon arena and then maybe I'll call it there. Uh, so what do we need? Don't need the cure confusion. We can pick back up curing. And we can restore our life over here and I think we're good to go. I guess we can drop off that scroll of destruction. And we can kill another Amberite. Gerard, who's also wanted. So we might get something good for him. Aha. Uh -huh. Immune to teleportation, that guy. Let's distract and see who survives. No one. I was hoping that one of the uniques would survive. Let's not fight that guy. In fact, let's just reset this level. Another Amberite. 
maybe this one we can kill. Use teleportation. And he's a thief, so we don't want him to stand next to us. Actually, let's get rid of this thing. I usually wake up and cause issues. Uh, he didn't summon anything dangerous. Which is fine. Wait, is this guy new? He is new. He needs teleportation, but he's such a low level unique. It's kind of surprising. I guess we can just kill him. I do feel more comfortable teleporting around on Arena because usually everything in Arena is asleep and there's not that many monsters in Arena to begin with. Uh, huh. More stuff. None of which is teleport immune. And he didn't really have a death curse either. Uh, we'll do one more round of Arena Dungeon, and then I'll call it there. Greater Balrog. Could give it a try. phase out of the room and I was too cheap to do dimension door. I think I now need to teleport. That could have gone worse. Don't really want to fight a worm of many colours either. Can maybe fight this guy. Yeah, we can fight him. Ah, uh, he does resist plasma though, which is annoying. Could go back to water bowl, but maybe I'll just mana bowl him instead. Hopefully he can just push past those weaker guys. Uh, looks like he can't. How far away is he? I think he's far enough away that I won't destruct him. Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did destruct him. Alright, maybe we can um, 
go kill that Balrog or something. And that brought us to level 48 as well, so we're only two away from capping out. But I think I will leave it there for now. So we're able to shuffle around our equipment a bit and I think we're looking pretty decent. The only thing I really want is more con boosting gear for more health and another pip of shards resistance would be nice. But that's not necessary. Uh, but yeah. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.